you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be revealing the total value of our 16 car Turo fleet. And we're gonna be talking about how much our fleet is worth today versus how much we paid for it over the last few years. So starting off with our Mazda 2. Now this car is a 2012 and I actually like it a lot. As you can see, it's not in bad shape. It's kind of like our Yaris is, but different. This does have a Ford engine, which I like exceptionally because they're very easy to work on and all the Ford Motorcraft parts are readily available as well. Now we bought this car almost exactly a year ago. We paid $3,000 for it and today it's worth roughly 7,000. It's not bad for a car that we put about 20,000 miles on. 20,000 miles? It's coming up there. Wow. Next up we have our 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Now this car is definitely a little bit worn compared to all of our other cars. We purchased this from my sister and it definitely had some wear and tear, but we fixed it up pretty nicely. Now we paid $3,500 for this Hyundai Sonata and then quite literally the next week after we bought it, the engine exploded on it. But Hyundai ended up covering it because it fell underneath the rod bearing recall, which opened us up to like a huge amount of possibilities for other cars that Hyundai made that fell under that same recall. Now the car is worth $8,500. This is our 2011 Ford Focus. The exterior is kind of forgettable, but this car is minty. It was grandma owned, so naturally, it's nice. Now the interior is where it really shines on this car, and it has a lot of features. As you can see, leather, sunroof, and the upgraded sink system with the subwoofer. This car is pretty loaded to the brim for the year. We purchased this car just about six months ago. We paid five grand for it, but today it's worth about seven. Next up is our 2011 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, and I've gotta be honest, this is probably my favorite car in our Turo fleet, right behind our Toyota Yaris, of course. This car is super clean inside and out. It is basically in near perfect condition. Now we bought this car a few months ago for $6,700, and right now it's worth right about $9,800 according to online data. Not bad for a hybrid that saves you money on gas. So this is our 2011 Mazda Mazda 2 that we got right about a year ago. And I absolutely love this particular Mazda a lot. It is by far one of the cleanest examples of a vehicle that we have inside and out. It does have a little bit of hail damage, but you can't see it because that booger green paint just flares. Now we purchased this car for $5,000 and looking back, I cannot believe that we got both this Mazda as well as our blue one for such a great deal. And as we sit here today, this car is worth about seven. Now it is a year older than our blue one and they have about the same value because though this one is older, it is in much better condition than our other one. And here you can see our 2015 Kia Rio. This is actually one of the, actually the newest year model car that we own. And I'm gonna be honest, this is one of those cars that I kind of had a little bit of buyer remorse for whenever we first bought it, but it has been doing pretty well on the platform. Now I was on the flip side of that. I actually liked this car a lot whenever we bought it, even though I was really hesitant considering I have a very bad pass with our previous Kia Rio. We got this car for $6,700 and now the market value for this vehicle is $7,500. But these are all the cars that we have here for the day, so let's continue this tomorrow. Another day means more cars. This is our 2013 Mazda Mazda 3. Now when we first got this car, I kind of felt like it was almost too good to be true. Low miles, great price, great condition on this car. Honestly, it didn't really need a lot when we first got it. We bought this car for what, $5,500? And as we see here today, this car is worth roughly $9,000, which to be honest, I was surprised to see how little we paid for this car and I was surprised to see how much it's worth today. This is our 2009 Mercedes-Benz C300. This is our last remaining luxury car in our Turo fleet. And this car actually does really well, just like the Maserati did. We bought this car for $6,000 and now it's worth $9,500. And here we have our 2007 Ford Focus. This is not only one of our oldest cars, but it's also one of the cars we've had for the longest period of time. Now this car is a little worn, but because it's so cheap, it is one of our most highly utilized vehicles. It's constantly being rented out. This car is incredibly reliable. Back in 2018, we paid $2,300 for this Focus and now it's currently worth $4,000. 
And next, you guys know how much I love Toyota Yaris's. This is our 2007 Toyota Yaris, and I absolutely love this car. Not only do I like the way that it looks, but it's also just incredibly reliable. This car never has any problems, and it is a solid, solid car in our fleet. Now, we bought this car for $3,300, and currently it's worth $4,000. Not bad for a car that's made us over 15 grand over the past few years. Next up, we have our 2010 blue Toyota Yaris. Now, I love this car because it is a Toyota Yaris, but it is a little bit newer, so it's just a little bit cleaner. It has some pretty cool wheels, and the paint is in near perfect condition. Except for right here where it isn't perfect at all. Now, we bought this car earlier this year. We paid $5,500 for it, which is actually less than I thought we did, and it's worth roughly $7,500 today. Next up, we have our 2010 Honda Fit. Now, this car is exceptionally clean. The paint is a little bit faded, but other than that, this car is in really great condition. We paid $5,000 for this car, and today it's worth roughly $7,500. I actually meant to do this one earlier whenever I was checking it in for its next rental, but I forgot, which is why I'm doing it now while I'm taking Nico on his walk. And now this one's actually going out on a rental tomorrow. Next up, we have our 2008 Ford Escape. Now, this car is extremely clean. I really, really, really like this car. And for a long time, it was our only SUV. And we bought this car from a Ford mechanic, so it was maintained extremely well. And right before we bought it, it had an entire engine rebuild, which has meant that it's worked extremely well for us throughout its entire duration in our Turo fleet. Now, we bought this car for $4,500, and today it's worth roughly $5,500. And here we have our 2014 Booger Green Ford Fiesta. If you didn't notice, HP and I have a thing for Booger Green cars. Now we purchased this car a couple of months ago for $4,600. We purchased it shortly after the transmission had been totally rebuilt and replaced, and today it's worth roughly $5,500. Here we have our newest addition to the fleet, our 2015 Hyundai Elantra GT. Now this car is one of the newer cars in our fleet. It's tied with the newest, being a 2015. It also has the lowest miles, and I would argue it's probably one of our nicest. We purchased this one for a get around project and this is a super clean car. Now we paid $9,100 for this car and it's worth right about 10,500 currently. Now interestingly enough, HP and I have had this YouTube channel for over a year now and this is the closest that we've ever come to showing our entire fleet of cars in one single video. But there are two missing because they're on long term rentals so not a bad problem to have. So the first one that we weren't able to feature in this video is our 2013 Hyundai Tucson. Now this is a super clean car. We actually just bought it recently, so some of you may remember it from a previous video. And we ultimately paid $8,000 for this car, and it's worth roughly $8,700. And last but not least is our white sedan Toyota Yaris. We paid $6,000 for the vehicle, and right now it's worth right about $7,000. Now, you guys may be wondering, where do we find the value of these cars versus what they're worth today versus what we paid for them? And to be honest, there isn't any sort of like perfect formula. In preparation for this video, I scoured the internet to see how much our cars are worth on websites like Facebook, Craigslist, Auto Trader, Edmunds, KBB, and I basically averaged all of the numbers together to figure out roughly what they could sell for today. But of course, this is something that fluctuates with the car market. The car market is currently super in Inflated, and if the car market goes down, our car values will probably go down along with it. So that means we've spent $89,700 on our 17 car car sharing fleet. And that doesn't include vehicles that we've purchased before and have been totaled since then. And of these 17 cars, they're worth roughly $125,000 today. But guys, as always, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and please hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next episode.